In this video, how to deploy Autodesk DWG TrueView using Microsoft Intune. The first step is to download the installer for the app from the official Autodesk website. Open the downloaded file to create the installer. This process will generate a new folder named Autodesk in the downloads directory. It may take several minutes to download all the required data. In the generated folder, you'll find several files and folders. All of these are necessary for creating the Intune package in the next steps. The next step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .IntuneWin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Next, copy all the contents of the Autodesk folder into the input folder that we prepared earlier. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .IntuneWin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the CD command. Now, Run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.exe file. And the path of the output folder for the generated.intunewin file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic, creating the .intunewin file for us. Once done, go to the output folder to verify that the .intunewin file is being created. Finally, log into the Intune Admin Center and click Add a Windows app. From the drop-down menu, choose Windows App Win32 as the app type. For the app package file, select the .intune-win file that you created earlier. On the app information page, fill out the required fields. Optionally, you can upload a logo by selecting an image file. Adding a logo makes it easier for users to identify the app in the company portal and is highly recommended.
On the program page, enter the install and uninstall commands for the app. At the end of this video, we'll show you how to find the uninstall command for the deployment. On the requirements page, you can specify prerequisites that the managed devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the device architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. The detection rules section allows you to verify if the app is already installed on managed devices. You can use either a custom detection script or manually configure a detection rule. In this example, we'll manually configure the detection rule. Select registry as the rule type to detect the app based on registry. Enter the following information to configure the detection rule. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure supersedence to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the uninstall deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select add all devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review your settings and click Create to finalize the app deployment. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to complete. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is finished and the deployment is active. To verify the deployment, log in to a managed device and allow the system to sync. You can manually trigger a sync by using Windows settings, the company portal, or restarting the computer. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been installed automatically. In the Intune Admin Center, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page. This page provides a graphical breakdown, showing devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Keep in mind that deployment status updates in the Intune portal may take some time to appear, so be patient. If the app is no longer required, you can edit the app deployment in Intune to uninstall it automatically. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the required section and add it to the Uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete, and the app will be removed from all target devices automatically.
Alternatively, when deploying an app using Intune, you can set it as available for enrolled devices. This allows users to manually install the app via the company portal. For such scenarios, users can log into the company portal and install the app themselves. As you can see, this approach enables users to decide when they want to install the app instead of deploying it automatically. Now, let's discuss how to find the uninstall command and detection information for the deployment. This example is specific to Autodesk TrueView, but can also be applied to other Autodesk products. To locate the uninstall command, we need to retrieve specific value in red for the app. The easiest way to find this is by opening the setup.xml file in the Autodesk folder generated during the first step. Find the UPI2 code. This is the value you need for uninstall command and detection rule. The code may vary depending on the Autodesk products and versions. This method works not only for Autodesk DWG TrueView, but also for other Autodesk products. Alternatively, you can install the app on a test computer to locate the required values before configuring the deployment in Intune. Once the app is installed, open the Windows registry. Navigate to the following registry key. In this key, you'll find a list of all installed applications on the computer. Inspect each subkey to locate the app you are deploying. For Autodesk DWG TrueView, Locate its corresponding key and check for the uninstall string. This uninstall string is the uninstall command you'll need when configuring Intune. In case you don't want to manually check each subkey, you can use PowerShell to retrieve uninstall strings for all installed applications on the device. As you can see, running this PowerShell command provides a complete list of uninstall strings, making it easier to locate the desired app. Using this method, you can find the uninstall command for any app, not just Autodesk products. For example, using this uninstall command, I will remove the app from the test computer. As shown, the app has been successfully removed. For detection rules, after the app is installed, its corresponding subkey will be created in the uninstall registry key. We can configure Intune to check if this subkey exists to determine whether the app is present on a device. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in next videos.